I just don't understand life sometimes. Literally. Friends lying to you, behind your back for years. Girls you thought that you loved, just turning out to be someone completely different. I guess nothing in this universe can be planned. Things just happen, and I guess that's life. Oh man, today's the day I have to make my way back to the keep. Now there's two reasons I have to go back to the keep. Reason one is to make sure it's safe and that Roth isn't making their way towards the keep and trying to defeat it when we're all gone and the keep is vulnerable. But option two infuriates me, or reason two I should say, and that's because Kyle, my ex-best friend, and Cindy, a girl I love very much, are getting married because Cindy's pregnant with Kyle's baby. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. I'm guessing not well, but I'm gonna just try to put a smile on and make it through it, just because that's what everyone wants me to do. The real reason though I'm going is to make sure everyone's safe. That's what I care about more than anything. Even Kyle and Cindy's safety. Even though they, they really betrayed me, I still care about their lives. <sighs> but I better get ready, I think the ship's leaving in about an hour. I still want to say goodbye to everyone here before I leave. Now, I know I'll be back to Tranquility, but it just feels like... I'm gonna be gone forever, even though it's only gonna be a couple weeks, maybe even a couple days. <sighs> I'm gonna miss this planet, it's treated me well. Um, hey Crystal. So you're leaving today? Do you really need to go? <laughs> yeah, I do. I need to go to a wedding of some former friends. Are you ever going to come back? Of course I am. I should only be gone for a few days. Good! You have been the kindest human to me that I've ever met. You make me feel almost human myself. <laughs> well, thanks, Crystal. You deserve it. Don't worry. I'll see you soon. Okay, have a safe trip. Uh, I will be awaiting your return. <laughs> okay, uh, see ya, Crystal. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna miss everything about Tranquility. Having a droid's awesome, and, and she's like a human! She's fun to hang out with! And the people on this planet are so nice, and, and Chris is here, and all my fellow Keep soldiers, and Lindsay. <sighs> That's why I'm gonna hurry. Make this mission a quick one. Make sure everything's safe, make sure Roth's not in the vicinity of the Keep, and make my way back home. Well, this isn't home yet, but it sure does feel like it. Oh, uh, hey, Lindsay! Uh, what are you doing down here? I can't believe you're leaving today. It is gonna suck here without you. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to go, but Chris wants me to make sure the keep is safe. Yeah, also you'll get to see your friend's wedding. That'll be good. You really shouldn't miss that anyways. <sighs> yeah, I guess. I wouldn't consider them friends, though. I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. I really hope you can come back soon. I don't think I can be without you more than a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really hope to be back soon as well. I don't ro want Roth to get here and, and me not be here. Yeah, that would be horrible. I really hope that doesn't happen. I doubt it will. Don't worry about that. Well, have a safe trip, and I can't wait to see you again. Until next time. See you soon, Lindsay. Oh, man. Leaving Tranquility is going to be so hard. It's like I care about people here more than I care about people back at the Keep. And that's kind of wrong, but I don't know. Something about this planet just reminds me of Earth and just makes me feel at home. I kind of want to move everyone from the keep here and just live our life out here at the keep. Or at Tranquility, I should say. It's safer <laughs> than the keep and than anywhere in the universe because Roth is nowhere near it. <sighs> okay, let's go say goodbye to Chris. Uh, hey, Chris. We still haven't been able to locate Roth or the ship we sent out to scout for them. We are starting to get worried that Roth is planning something out of our control. What should I expect once I had once I land at the keep? We have no idea. I wouldn't expect them to be waiting for you once you land at the keep, but just keep your eyes and ears open once you get there. Okay, I will. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Be careful out there, aviator. I'll check in with you in a few days once you arrive at the keep. Safe travels, son. Okay, uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, I'll update all of you when I get back to the keep. Uh, be safe. <sighs> Time to make my way towards the ship and head off to the keep. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a choppy landing. I really haven't piloted one of these things on my own, but, uh, it looks like it worked. Oh, I made it back to the keep in one piece. I forgot how peaceful it is out here, just floating freely in space. 
<sighs> Took this little ship a couple of days on my own. Sure, it has autopilot, but I thought I was gonna go crazy in deep space all by myself for a couple days. Yeah, it's good to be back. Back to where other people are. Oh, looks like Obey's over there. He's probably waiting to greet me. I should see what he wants. Uh, hey Obey, how you doing? Welcome back, Aviator! It's good to see you again! How was the Planet of Tranquility? Oh, it was great! I love Tranquility, but it's gonna be nice to see my mom again. Well, it's nice to have you back! We really need you around here! After we lost the position of Roth, I have an extremely strange feeling! Something doesn't feel quite right. I know, it is odd. That they have any- that they just vanish from our sights. Well, now that you're back, I feel a bit better! It's great to have a keeper back in presence of the keep. Hey, I, I plan on working hard to keep the keep safe, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. I guess I will let you get going to go visit with your family, but welcome back, aviator! Okay, I I'll see you around, Obey. <sighs> it's nice to actually have Obey on my side for once and not have him yelling at me. That's a good feeling. Strange, but good. Oh, my mom's <laughs> waiting for me down at reception! Uh, hey mom! That's kind of weird not having Lindsay here. <laughs> Welcome back, honey! It's so great to see you! I've missed you so much! Well, hey mom, it's great to be back. So, I am assuming you heard the news, honey? Yeah, I heard the news. It's just so crazy to think about it. Yeah, Cindy and Kyle are having a baby! They're just babies themselves. Yeah, I can't believe it. I don't even know- I didn't even know they were dating. Are you excited for their wedding, sweetheart? <laughs> Why- I wouldn't say excited. But I guess I'll be going. What? Why are you excited? These are two of your best friends getting married and having a baby! <sighs> Mom, I love Cindy. I actually loved her. And they were dating behind my back for years. That's why I'm not very excited about this. Oh, honey, I had no idea! I'm so sorry! It's okay, Mom. Don't, don't worry about it. Well, I got your bed made up, so if you feel tired or anything, feel free to go upstairs and get some rest. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Mom. It's good to be back. <sighs> I am kind of tired. Two days, deep space, flying an aircraft. It does take something out of you. So I guess I'll go check on Gramps and maybe hit the hay. God, Cindy. She would be waiting by the staircase for me. Let's see what she has to say. Hey, Cindy. Hey, aviator. Cindy, uh... You look well. <laughs> yeah, I am well. I want to talk to you. I'd rather not, to be honest. I know my letter must have come as a shock. A shock?! I would say it was much more than a shock! We're really sorry that is... that... is how you had, had to hear the news. We didn't want it to be that way. The girl of my dreams and my best friend were dating for years without telling me. Sorry again, Aviator, but that is all in the past and there's nothing we can do to change it. I know that, but it still hurts. Well, now that I'm pregnant, Kyle and I are getting married. I know I told you that in my letter, but I just want to ask you in person. Will you come to our wedding? <sighs> yes. Yes, I will. I'm not, I'm not happy to, but I will. I'm so glad to hear you. I'm so glad to hear you could finally find it in yourself to, to come to our wedding. It means a lot to me and Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Don't mention it, really. Oh, before I forget, Kyle wants to talk to you, too. He is outside working with Obey on something, I think. <sighs> I don't I don't know about that. Please, can you please do this for me? <sighs> Haven't I done enough for this girl? <sighs> okay, fine. I will. Thank you so much, Aviator. It's great to have you back. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's good to be back, Cindy. <sighs> Before I go downstairs and talk to Kyle, someone I literally want to kill, I think I'm just going to check in on Gramps and, and see how he's doing. Now oh, he's still laid up in bed. Uh, hey, Gramps. Welcome back, Sonny. It's good to see you again. 
It's good to see you too. I'm glad you look well. I think I'm gonna crash soon actually, but I have to go talk to Kyle. I'll see you in a bit. Ugh, I don't wanna have to go downstairs and talk to Kyle. I, I literally don't have anything to say to him. I think if we get off on the wrong foot, I'll punch him in the face and I don't want it to come to that. I don't want things to get awkward, but I just have all this hatred built up for him. My best friend, years listening to me say how much I love Cindy, dating her behind my back and and doing what he did to get her pregnant and, and now he's marrying her. The girl of my dreams. <sighs> I guess I'll do it though. I gotta be the bigger man in this situation. There he is. Uh, uh. Hey. Hey, Kyle. I heard you want to talk to me. Yes, I do, Aviator. I want to say I'm sorry for not telling you about me and Cindy a long time ago. I don't... I just don't understand. How could you date that girl? I loved her. I loved her too! Longer than you have! I can promise you that! So should I just have gave up on my love so you could love... Uh, so you could have her? <laughs> How do you know you loved her longer than me? I loved her since we were kids. Whatever. I don't want to fight with you. Who cares who loved her longer? All that matters is the situation we are in now, and that is me getting married to her and having a child with her. Man, bro. That is so cold. I can't believe you. I'm sick of babying you and doing things for you. I have always been your lackey and have, and to be honest, I'm done. Boo hoo. You don't get to be with Cindy. Who cares? I have a lot on my plate now and I don't have time to make you feel better. <laughs> wow. I thought we were friends. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, I guess you were. You don't have to come to my wedding to be honest. That was all Cindy's idea. I could care less. Go back to tranquility. We don't need you here. I'm not only here for your dumb wedding. I'm here to keep the keep safe. Why do you need- Why do we need you to keep us safe? I'm here. I can handle it. We don't need some wannabe keeper here trying to help. What was that? Oh my god! Get to cover! Get to cover! Oh my god, run! Run! Oh my god! Roth is here! Roth is here! Warn, warn the keep!